Good morning, it's Margaret Betty and it's the University of Sewing and it's Facebook Live. Well guys, for today's giveaway, we have a special reason for giving you a Threads Magazine. So this Threads Magazine was last uh, quarter's Thread Magazine and we don't want it to go to waste. We wanna make sure one of you gets this because they are absolutely wonderful magazines. And yes, we do advertise in them, so it's full disclosure on that and I have a little surprise here in a minute to show you about that so we have this beautiful it was the summer magazine it's got lots of great information it talks about sergers so this is a good thing um, how to measure for pants really good information in this magazine so I want to make sure it gets to one of you and all you have to do to be able to go ahead and get this magazine is please share our Facebook feed right now. Just hit the share button in the comments, let us know you shared and we'll put you into the drawing. Okay, so I'm gonna set that off to the side here because now I wanna show you the really cool surprise about why I want you to get this magazine. So last, this very, excuse me, this particular quarter, uh, Threads has reviewed a number of different patterns they go and they buy, they buy. They do not get it given to them. They go and buy fabric and uh, supplies for these. They give them to their test sewers. And guess what? We made it into Threads Magazine. I was so excited. So look at this gorgeous purple coating. And this is made up. And somebody went ahead from Georgia and made this beautiful Vogue 1930 uh, pattern and it is absolutely gorgeous. They used our fabric both for the outer part of the jacket and for the lining. So we were we are in Threads, the current Threads magazine. How cool is that? So I was really excited when I saw that and um, I think that that's super fun. So uh, yes, we do advertise in them because we want you guys to know where we are. So I am going to set these two guys aside here and we're going to get to the other stuff. So if you saw our email, you know that today we were going to talk about the Hexi fabric. It is a batik from Northcott and here we've got it made up into this very fun, very simple quilt. It is made up of strips cut into half square triangles and all matched up together. And this is a great little project, not very difficult at all. So I wanted you to see the sample made up of that. And then we're gonna come over here and take a quick look at these fabrics because they've got a really great selection of colors. And look how rich they are. So we've got our yellows into orange. Then we've got a beautiful rust into a red. Then we've got a dark pink and a lighter pink. And I think I'm going too fast to get it all in there. So let's slow down a little bit. I'm gonna put those right there. Now we've got purple and raspberry. Very, very pretty. And then I'm gonna have you come over this way, Dave, so we can get these, I think, or your arms long enough. That's super. So we've got a lime green into a nice grass green. Then we've got a blue green and a, a I should say a green blue and a blue green. How cool is that? Nice to two different ways. So if you're looking for a particular direction to go with your uh, blue greens, you can go with either the green or the blue version. And then you've got your nice wonderful kind of sky blue into uh, going into a royal blue and then a purple blue and then your full-blown purple very very pretty um, that other purple that we have if you look this one's got a lot more red in it so it but it is going to be a nice version so these are just wonderful in how they all blend together they're very pretty and I think that you will be able to find lots of very good uses for these. They're going to be your next best friend blender here when you're doing your any of your uh, batik work. When you're looking for some great colors but you don't want it to be a solid, this will be a good choice. So 
I have over here a gorgeous selection of rayon, and these are from Figo. And Figo has, um, these two rayons are really different. The one that I'm going to show you first, I'm going to go ahead and unroll this for you, Dave. It has a gorgeous, gorgeous print to it. This is a white. It has got lovely coloring on it. It is interesting because most of the time I can't wear white, but this has so much other color saturating through it that I think even those of us who normally can't wear white, this is gonna work for you. I think it's gonna be nice. And those of you who look great in white, it'll look good for you too. So it's a very, very interesting print. One of the things that's really nice about this particular rayon is the drape and the softness of it. It's super drapey, super soft, very nice. Now, I've shown you guys before our boutique rayons. They do not drape quite like this, although after they're washed several times, they do do that. So what I what's interesting is that these particular fabrics right here, which are also 100% rayon, have a much more crisp feel to them. They feel more like our boutique rayons to me. I am not sure what's gonna happen to these particular prints when they end up getting washed. By the way, this one I believe is a 54 inch wide and these are 60 inch wide. So that one with the butterflies on it is only gonna be 54 inches wide. But this one has a more crisp feel to it. It's not as soft. It does have plenty of drape to it, but it is more um, like a cotton lawn. It's very interesting, although it's not sheer like a cotton lawn. And the, the outside of this is, it, this is just a plain weave, but interestingly, it almost has a feel like a sateen to me. It's a very, very nice feeling fabric. And I can see this being a gorgeous top dress, all kinds of things. It's really lovely. And there's, and with it being 60 inches wide, it makes it really economical too. So this is going to be a really great one. This purple is stunning. We have that same print. You know, I, the only thing that stopped me for getting more of these is they didn't have any other colors to buy. These are really pretty fabulous. So this one is a gorgeous blue and white. And all four of these definitely have a white base. But again, I think that the saturation and color on this, because the white's just so intermittent, a lot of people are going to be able to pull this off. It's going to make a great skirt, a dress, a towel a tunic top, a top. You could even make a really cute jacket out of this. Um, then we have it in this print. So this print is more like a series of pixelated dots and it comes in a variation of a variety of blues. These are definitely a royal blue, although this one color here has a bit of green in it, which is interesting. So. You've got your light blue and a little bit of a green blue. Very, very pretty. And then this one, which is definitely in the teal arena. These are your blue greens and definitely more to the blue side than the green. Very pretty. These are beautiful fabrics. They are in our latest arrivals. You can see them now. They are all online. For a change, I actually have everything I'm showing you is all online. <laughs> so I'm very pleased to be able to tell you that. So we had Rachel working yesterday and she knocked it out of the park, got everything put in the system and we got that all done. So that was really wonderful. So um, the one thing that we need to make sure that we tell you about is today is our embroidery open house. So we're gonna have machines going with embroidery stuff going on with them. And we are going to be talking about our new system called Embroidery Designs on Demand from OESD. 
Um, I'm expecting to see Alice here in a little bit and she's going to be bringing some more samples. Yesterday we did a quick video on Facebook Live right at the end of the day yesterday. So it was a little bit after six. Then we went ahead and showed you some of this, but I think we should come back over here, Dave, and show people some of these gorgeous designs so that we can show off all of the things you can do with an embroidery unit. So we've got nice little small Christmas designs, which a five series machine, if you've got a 535 or 570 or 590, these designs will fit on your machine just fine. And I actually wonder if you couldn't go up to this one too, because I think you can put the midi hoop on the five series. And I'm gonna have to double check that. But for those of you who have an embroidery machine, maybe haven't been using it much, this is gonna be a really good excuse for you to come over today Join us, see the kind of designs that you can do. We'll talk about how they were made. We will go ahead and show you what you can potentially get. Now, what's it, what is designs on demand and why is this important? Well, the really cool thing about this is now is you're gonna be able to look through all the designs and instead of having to contact OESD and ask them to download the designs for you and send it in an email, what you're gonna be able to do is come in here and of course you can still do that. But if you want, you can come in here, you can take a look through all the designs and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get a flash drive, put all the designs on there, and all you have to do is plug it into your machine and you're ready to go. How fun is that? So that's going to be a really neat feature for you. Then what we've got to the folks who have been saying, well, I don't know if I really want to do embroidery. Why don't you come on over and you can see all these really beautiful designs that we're working on, all the gorgeous samples. And as you saw, you can go from freestanding lace, which can be an ornament for a gift, to having a beautiful, uh, the, that cookie jar wrap around. How cool was that? You know, really cool things like that to being able to do something for your grandchildren because we had that wonderful be wild dinosaur design. How fun would that be to do for your grandson? But I want you to realize that you can always add, if you have a 535, 570, a 590, if you have a 735, a 770, or 790, you can do embroidery on those machines. Now, some of them, the machine, the embroidery machines came with it, some it did not. So what you can do if it did not, is you can consider whether or not you wanna add embroidery. And we have everything from the brand new smart technology, high speed embroidery unit, boxed up and ready to go. Or what you could do is if you're worried that maybe you won't use it as much as you think, then you might want to just start off a little bit slower. Maybe get yourself a used embroidery unit. And we have a couple of those. So if you wanted to go ahead and get a used embroidery unit, we could get that for you. We also have some of the older technology embroidery units that aren't high speed. We have, I think, one or two of those still available that we could sell you. So you can start off into embroidery for your seven series as low as $450. Now it's going to be the older technology, so it's not gonna do the really high speed stuff, but it works perfectly fine. It can do embroidery, it can do quilting. You're gonna find that that's all gonna work for you. So that's really fun. Then, you know what I didn't think about, but with the OESD, you don't have to have a Bernina. You can have any brand of machine out on the market that the um, all the different embroidery designs, they are actually supporting all those different uh, file extensions, so you should be able to use that. So this is gonna help our customers even if you are not a Bernina user. And I want you to know one of the things we always make sure we take care of you with on our, on our open house days, 
and even most of the rest of the time, we have some wonderful chocolates here for you. So this is gonna start at one o'clock so you can get your farmer's market stuff done and your errands finished and you can go ahead and do all those kind of fun things. Let's go over and take a quick look at one of the embroidery units because I don't want you to forget, a lot of you might be thinking to yourself, well, Margaret, I don't wanna tie up my sewing machine. I sew all the time and if I'm doing embroidery, it's gonna tie up my sewing machine. Well, how about an embroidery exclusive machine? We've got a demo of the 500. We have a 700 here. They're both available to pack up and send home with you. I also have a used five series embroidery unit with all of the things that they normally come with and it is ready to go home with you too. So if you have a 535 or a 570 and you haven't done the addition of embroidery, you can get into this now so inexpensively. You really want to think about doing that. So I want to make sure that you knew about those things. Then also, just so that you're also aware, we carry a whole bunch of, and I think we carry most of it, the stabilizers that OESD has. I think we do most of those. So I'm gonna move that out of the way because while I want you to know about our winter coat class, I do want you to know we carry all the OESD products. And of course these work on every machine. So regardless of what brand you have, this is gonna help you and Alice is going to be here today, so if you have an embroidery question, as long as it's just a short question, I'm sure she'll have time to uh, talk to you about that. So this is really fun. We carry things like Badge Master, Gentle Touch Backing, all kinds of things that are really helpful. And, you know, one of the things I always tell people, this is also very helpful if you're doing decorative stitching. So you might want to think about that, too. We have right now, coming up for our October class list is a winter coat class. This is the coat that we are going to be working on. It is a CNT pattern. And we got that little guy stuck under there. Let's fix him. So we have got this beautiful coat. You are going to have an opportunity to make this if you join our class. It is all the Fridays of October because we're gonna go from beginning to end on how to make this coat. We are actually, it's an unlined coat. The way that the class is structured is it's from 10.30 in the morning until three. We'll start off the morning with a lesson on what we're doing and where we're gonna go that particular day. And then on the uh, afternoon, we will work on sewing. So that means you can stay as long as you want. You can get the lesson out of the way or earlier in the day. And if you don't want to stay here and sew and work on it, that'll be fine. But I wanted to make sure that we were available to anyone who was having problems with it or just wanted some, you know, they wanted some company while they worked on this and they wanted to be part of the, the uh, team here at the University of Sewing. So. Let's go ahead, Dave, and let's take a quick peek over here because you may not know it, but we carry buttons. So we have quite a few of them right over here. The problem with buttons has always been that they take a monumental amount of time to enter into the system. So I haven't got all of these on there, but if you see something while Dave is doing this, that you might want us to give you, I can send you a photograph. I can tell you the sizes. For example, we have these great big buttons. Look how big those are. They're beautiful big buttons that would work great on your next winter coat. We've got a huge selection of winter wool fabrics, perfect for your next coating project, and great buttons to go with those, including some really fun snaps. These snaps are really large. They're about the size of a quarter and they will hold together your winter coat quite nicely if you don't want to do buttons. So you can always use snaps. 
So I wanted to make sure we t showed those off since we were talking about our coat. Some of these are online. I hope to in the next month or so get more of them online. Like I said, they're just a time consumer one because we want to make sure that we get the pictures for you. We have to get the sizes. We have to put, oh, it's just, it's a lot of work, guys. So come on, let's go ahead and talk about some other things here. Don't forget, we showed you those great fabrics from Northcott. This is the I'm trying to remember the line. Oh my goodness, how can I not remember this line's name? They've got the bears and mountain. I think it's mountain mist is what it is. So we've got those. We've got the panel for the bear bag. And I think that'd make a really cute present for somebody. But we also have this one, which is called morning mist. I know that one. I, I remember the name for that one. And we also have a nice little morning mist. Uh, it's morning light bag panel is what this one is. Morning light bag panel. So we have those two. So you got to start thinking about those holiday gifts, guys. Because you know what? I can't believe it, but we're already, uh, we're already at the end of the first week of September. Christmas is going to fly up and hit us in the face and we're going to go, did it happen in December 25th the same way it always does? So we want to go ahead and make sure we get you taken care of. We've got the Run Run Rudolph Shop Hop coming up. I want to remind you about that at the end of the month. Oh, check out this. Aaron and Alice made this and they were kind enough to do it for me. And look at how cute this is. Did you know you can do applique on your embroidery machine? You certainly can. And you can do this. And I'm going to just tell you that applique is a heck of a lot better than mine is. So I'm thinking that if I can have the design already done and it looks this darn cute, I really want to make sure that I learn how to do this. So we've got a lot of embroidery classes we are planning for coming up this fall. I know we're going to do some edge to edge quilting on the embroidery module because it's not just an embroidery module. It's a module that does both quilting and embroidery. So that's really cool. So I know some people are already really interested in learning that. Thank you, Donna, who she came and bought one of our 790s and she's like, let Alice know. That's my first priority after I learn how to use the embroidery. I wanna learn how to do edge to edge quilting. So I know we're gonna be doing a class on that. I know we're gonna be doing a overall embroidery, how to do it. So. If you're thinking embroidery right now, especially with this OESD, uh, new designs on demand idea, then maybe this is a great time for you to make a purchase. Don't forget right now, Bernina is offering a trade-in sale. So if you've got another brand of machine and you've been thinking about upgrading, I've got plenty of them here for you today. So again, the open house today is from one until three. We will be here for you and ready to go. And I hope that you will make the time to stop over and see us. And if you're too far away, well, thanks for joining us this morning. We're going to get going so we can be all prepared for you guys this afternoon. And I hope you have a fabulous Saturday. And we'll see you next Friday for Facebook Live.